Welcome to online learning with Nana. I am your instructor, Nana Shadat. We are working on our products. So let's start. Uh, we will left in the previous lecture. Uh, here we are in the previous lecture. Uh, let's left to select category. Name will be product. Product category class text. Let's see. So we we'll select category and copy the same one. Paste here. Select brand brand product brand class text close option product brand. And because this is the same HTML that we are seeing, so let me copy. So there is nothing new, and I will make it more simple. So the main thing I have created: select category and select type remaining fields all the remaining fields are input field so we don't waste our time much time on HTML so we have to change this one mm. so Okay, product image one type will be text, text, and it will name it will be product image one. In the same way, product image two input type text, image two, same as image three, product image three, product title, product. Will be product category. Keep it simple. Product brand. Uh, set to normal. Okay. The product description. Product price. And this my product description label. Text area class. That is the CK editor we have set. We will use. Let me get it. To another, I'll get product description. Co column will be 209 and row will be 10. 29 and text area. So you can adjust it according to you, whatever you want. I have just set the row 10. And the product keywords, product keywords. Size will be 40. Entry. Button type submit class and and the same HTML that we have did in many previous lectures. So refresh your page. We have product description and price and all the fields that we required. Okay. Mm, as we have set. I think we have set in a header a CK editor that we have previously uh, in a previous lecture I have used some plugins that I have shown a uh, fancy box and T view and I have discussed about uh, this CK editor so look close my shop the original one the admin and 
maybe I have used this um, key editor in that product, add new product. When you go on, yes. So we have used this editor in my uh, shop me that will be used in uh, our here. So just um, nothing to do and go to your directory htdocs we have a login directory here we are admin CSN and we I think fancy box and customer CSS that we have a CK editor sample.css yes its name is sample.css uh, so let me clear it that I have included in my header or not come to your header mm, CSS fancy box preview and well admin CSS and we have a sample or CSS okay copy the same link paste it under CSS it is the sample or CSS you can download this plugin and uh, when you download so let me show you what directory it will show you my code admin CSS so this when you download the plugin this directory will be downloaded so in a directory is a sample and when you click on sample there will be a sample.css just you need to include the sample.css and I think there is no jQuery for it so just reference this sample.css so I have copied this already copy and paste into my the original login directory so in admin CSS and CSS we have a sample.css the same file so don't be confused anymore so it's very simple okay we have included in our header go to insert products and you can see when we are in a browser so here is a no editor yet so when let's name it its its name is ck editor when you give your class a ck editor and it the file is included in your link CSS file included in your header so it will prompt you uh, what is wrong I think the name is the issue let me confirm CK Name is the same one, but it didn't show the editor. Let's have a view on now. Sample or CSS. So I we have just include a CSS. Let me check. We have a, a JS file for CK editor. Uh, go to your htdocs my shop code admin CSS editor and this here is the CK editor .js. Copy it from here and come back to login directory that virtual project admin css and under js let's copy this 
Yes, we have already CK editor. So let's link this CK editor file and copy paste it under JS. CK editor CK editor dots ok now if I have a page mm, again it is not appearing mm, product description CK editor mm, Editor.js and uh, yes sample sample.cs so we have the same one so what's the issue is okay that products x uh, area include hatter.php let's save all okay. product description is not appearing mm. text area let's give it uh, this one We have a product description. Let me copy the complete code. Complete directory CK editor. Copy it. Go to login admin CSS under CSS and say go. So under editor there is a sample and there is a CSS. Okay, now link that. Admin CSS and there is a editor and under there is a, another directory samples and we have a CSS in the same way um, editor and CK editor to JS okay now refresh um, give it Plus CK editor. So again, it's not appearing here. Okay, let me check what the hell is going on. Mm, so uh, we have just uh, include our sample.css from our editor folder here you can see it we are in a login admin CSS so we have included the complete folder that we have uploaded sorry downloaded and all the files and everything is inside this folder and okay, just now we will give where uh, CSS editor sample and link that sample or CSS and the JSCK editor from the this folder and we have not just link only linking the CSS not the JQ JS file 
okay remove it from js folder and add editor there under editor there is a ck editor.js file in a header okay well, let me confirm the ck editor class is the ck editor name save it save all and re refresh your page so you will find it so the issue is that we have just copied the CSS file and the JS file into a separate field but in uh, uh, when we download your editor so it's a complete folder and all the files that we required that uh, the CSS and JS so you have to uh, give um, uh, download and copy paste the complete folder into your uh, very interactive way you have your set media CSS JS and images and all that in the same way like fancy box you have to complete plugin uh, copy and paste the complete plugin here in a directive separate FD. so now we have a editor uh, that we will be used with your description so all these things are set for inserting and let me clear add new and click on add new we have just and now when we click on save so we have add new successfully uh, so now we have to create a function to receive value from and add new so function add new Successfully. And let's see, get all the value. Mm. So row is equal to dollar underscore global array post. And let me be sure print underscore r that we have receiving the farm value from our farm so um, let me first echo echo print our row so it will confirm us that we are receiving the exact value from farm so Okay, refresh one more time. Now give fill the form raw data. Uh, form will be not over. Image this one, this one. Uh, price is this one. Description keywords save all and go to add new successfully but go print or as you S U W C E W S. So, this and no. Now we are fetching uh, values from our farm. It's clear. We are print in array, title, and all and around that. So, okay. Uh, I'm closing this one lecture here. We'll see you in a next lecture. So, keep liking and subscribing and do like my videos and do give me a feedback so have a good time take care bye bye